Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to be talking about a new concept that is called IUPSC nomenclature because now we have studied the various forms of structural and skeletal formula and I think it's easier for us now to focus on nomenclature. What is that? It is a set for rules of naming the organic compounds. Now let's write those rules first and then let's see what do they mean. The first rule is we always pick the longest chain. We always pick the longest carbon chain which has to be the unbranched chain. It has to be the unbranched chain. It has to be the unbranched one. Then we name the branches first. We name the branches. We also call the branches as substitutes. So we name the branches first. Let's give you, let's, let's have an example of it. Imagine I have the skeletal formula for two structures here. The first one is a skeletal formula of a five carbon chain which has no branches because you, because you can see it is a continuation. No other carbon is coming out as a branch. So the name of this structure should have no branch and we will call it pentane with no indication of a branch. But on the contrary, you can see there are five carbons as a continuation, but there's a branch coming out from carbon number two. There is another carbon coming out from carbon number two. So you can notice that it's a branch. Your unbranched longest chain is five carbon long, but there's a branch on carbon number two. A one carbon branch is called methyl. One carbon branch is called methyl. So we call it methyl pentane. Not just pentane, methyl pentane, but we talk about the position of the methyl and you can see the position of the methyl is carbon number two. There's a methyl attached on carbon number two. So here the numbering is really important and you will call it 2-methyl pentane. Let's talk about the third rule and let's use our second and third rule together. The third rule is number the longest chain, we number the longest chain carbons in a way that all branches and substitutes, all branches and substitutes get smaller number. It's not a fixed pattern to number from the left side or right side. Let me give you an example. Imagine you have this structure and imagine you have another very similar structure like this. One has a branch, the other also has a branch. You might feel like numbering the first from the left side. So one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, five, six, and then there's a branch on carbon two. So you might feel like there's a branch on carbon two in the first structure and you might feel like calling it to methyl hexane because there is a branch on carbon two and overall it's hexane. But in the second structure, you don't number it from the left. You have to number it from the right because you can see the branches towards the right side. So number it from the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's again 2-methylhexane. Again, there's a branch on carbon 2 and overall there are six carbons in the main chain. It's again 2-methylhexane. Let's try to name these structures. Let's number the first one. It has no branches, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a straight chain called hexane. No branches, nothing. Let's pick the second structure. We just did it. It is a longest chain of six carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, and there's a branch on carbon two, so it's two methyl hexane. For the third structure, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The longest chain has seven carbons in a continuation, and there's a branch on carbon two, there's a branch on carbon three. You can see there's a branch coming from carbon number two, and the branch coming from carbon number three. So here you will call it two comma three because there's a branch on carbon two and a branch on carbon three. So you will call it two three dimethyl, not just methyl, you will call it dimethyl because there are two branches. Two three dimethyl heptane. It's called two three dimethyl heptane. Di because there are two methyls. And two three means their position. Let's go for the second structure. You can see that one way of finding the longest chain is this, where there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. And the other way would be this way, where you can see there would be one, two, three, four, five, and six carbon. So ask yourself, which one is the longest chain, the yellow one or the pink one? I would say the yellow one is the biggest chain because it has seven carbons in a continuation. So the pink one is not the proper way of branching and that's why you delete that. Let me delete that. Yes. So the yellow one is the longest chain and there's a branch on carbon number four. But wait a second. It's not a one carbon branch, it's a two carbon branch. It's a two carbon branch. So it's not called methyl, it's called ethyl. A two carbon branch, let's go at the top and let's say a two carbon branch is called ethyl. So here you will call it for ethyl, notice there's a hyphen after the number. You always write a hyphen between numbers and letters. For ethyl and then you will say heptane because it's a heptane. For ethyl heptane. Let's try to num name these molecules as our first practice. Let's find the longest chain. This is our longest chain with carbon 1, 2, 3 and 4. It will be called 2 methyl butane because there's a methyl on carbon number two. This is our branch. Let's go for the second structure. This is our longest chain you can see with carbon one, two, three, four, five. There's a branch on carbon two. There's a branch on carbon three. So you will call it two comma three hyphen dimethyl pentane. Let's do this structure which is again a continuation of five carbons. There's a branch on carbon number two. There's a branch on carbon number three but wait a second. There is another branch on carbon number three. So from one, two, three, four, five there are overall three branches. So you will call it 2 comma 3 comma 3 because two of these branches are on carbon 3. So 2, 3, 3, trimethyl and then pentane because it is the longest chain. The P should be smaller, pentane. Let's pick this other example. Starting from the left, you have 3, 4, 5, 6 a methyl branch on carbon 2, a methyl branch on carbon 3. So it would be 2 comma 3 dimethyl because there are two methyls hexane. This is a tricky one. Starting from the left you could have a longest chain like this, the yellow one, or you can have a longest chain like this, the pink one. If you notice, there are 
overall six carbons in both. So there is no point in picking one, you can pick any chain. And now let's pick the branches. There's a branch on carbon three, there's a two carbon continuation branch on carbon number four. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can call it three, four, or you can number it from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ask yourself, if you use the blue numbering, you will be calling three methyl and then four ethyl, or if you use the red numbering, the numbers would be different, the numbers would be changed. In organic chemistry, you give smaller numbers on basis of a priority. But both alkane chains are priority. So in this chain, in this in this partic in this particular chain, ethyl branch has a priority over methyl branch because ethyl branch is longer. So number it in a way that ethyl gets a smaller number. So you will say three ethyl. You will call it three ethyl and then you will call it four methyl and then you will call it hexane. Sir, but why ethyl first and then methyl? Because E and M are their initials and we number on basis of alphabetical order. So E comes before M and that is why we use it. Let's go back and write this rule. Let's, let's, let's write this rule somewhere where we have space for it. We can write it right exactly here that among branches, among branches, we name them alphabetically. Alphabetically. So ethyl would be named first and then methyl. So three ethyl, four methyl hexane. Let's do this last one and then we'll talk about more kinds of rules in the next video. You can pick the yellow one like this or you can pick the pink one like this. I think both have exactly the same number of carbons. So let's stick to any kind of numbering. Let's keep the yellow one. But ask yourself, will you number from here or the other side? You can see there's a branch on the lower side. So my suggestion is number from the lower side like one, two, carbon three, four, five, and six. So you will call it two, methyl because there's a methyl on carbon 2 and 2 methyl hexane. This is how you number and name chains which have branches and which have two possibilities of longest chain. In the next video we'll talk about alkene and alkyne naming. Stay tuned guys. Thanks.